Hi, welcome to the latest Peak Vlog. Um, by popular demand this week, we're going to be looking at the top five questions that we get asked by clients about AI and about data. In no particular order, number one, client, every client we've ever spoken to always says, our data is too much of a mess. Now, yeah, it's a classic thing that everybody, everybody thinks. I, mean, I think it's a bit like inviting someone to your house for the first time. Nobody thinks their house can be too clean uh, or, or too tidy, the same way everyone thinks their data is never clean or tidy enough for anyone to work on. Um, in 99% of the cases, that's not true. When uh, a business like ours uses your data and um, uh, to produce results, produce um, solve problems, that whatever it might be, Often we'll mix your internal data with external data anyway. Um, part, of, part of our process will be to unify various different data sets in, in our own process anyway. So actually whether you've got your data stored on a nice clean data center, a data lake, or whether it's held on various servers throughout the business, doesn't prohibit doing anything with AI uh, in, in, in our sense at all. So don't worry about the state of your data, I would say. We'll take a call on that, and in 99% of the cases, it'll be absolutely fine to start doing a work with data or start doing an AI project. Second question, do I really need AI? Or something along the lines of, our oh, business has been running for 100 years, why do we need AI now? Um, again, uh, a good question depends on your view of AI. If you subscribe to the sort of mass media view of robots running around left, right and centre doing jobs for you and completely revolutionising a business, well, that, that's a long way off. Um, I, our take would be, very much that in practical sense, AI now is just an evolution of what's gone before. You're able to pull on mass computational power to run algorithms and run programs that a human couldn't do, but that's not taking away from the core work that a business has done. Um, one of our biggest clients, first meeting we had with them, came up with a great quote that you can't mix sand with a spreadsheet. Um, so there's a level of cynicism uh, around there at the start. But actually, as you evolve through and you, I think this business has realized that, yeah, it, this is an evolution of what they're already doing. Um, yeah, that sort of, do I need AI, becomes less of a question, more of a natural progression for them. Um, we've looked in a survey of the retail sector recently, and much of the press, much of the news you'll read that retail's going down the pan, the high streets in crisis. Actually, when you look at it in detail, the businesses that they're using AI or are doing really well with, with data, they're outstripping their competition by 30%. They're growing 30% faster than non-data-centric businesses. And that's not all the businesses you might think of, like the fast fashion brands that, that are completely online-driven. Actually, traditional high street brands, businesses like Games Workshop, who you might not think of being, um, being AI or data, data science-driven, are and are growing, experiencing huge success by doing so. So do you need AI? Um, it's getting to the point, I think, where, where yeah, every business will. If you want to succeed, if you want to get ahead, you will need to be doing things with your data and doing that in an AI-driven way. So, yeah, those times are, are here now. They're happening now to businesses. Question three, again, is similar to the last one. I think this is changing a bit in the conversations we're having, certainly over the last 12 months with businesses. We've got lots of data. What can we do with it? So it's a good question. Um, I think businesses now are beginning to actually realize they can solve particular problems with data using AI. So I'm seeing more of a question of we've got, we want to be able to forecast better using our data. Can you help with that? Rather than the, where do we start? We've got loads of data, what can we do? But we've still got that question coming up and it's still something that if a business isn't on that uh, data-driven trajectory, they're not, they're just beginning to look at AI, they will be asking themselves. So rather than spending six months on vastly expensive consultancy, I'd say there's probably three or four questions you can ask yourself about where you can start. And I would, the first question I see is, what do you have data for? Secondly, what's your strategic objectives of the business? So there's no point doing a, a data-driven strategy if it doesn't match your business's strategic objectives. Case third would be, can you action the insight? How easy is it for that business to action any findings or any results drawn out from their data? Uh, and finally, what's the financial impact of doing it? Because if there isn't a financial impact or there's not a, um, an impact on business improvement or process improvement, why are you bothering doing it? So I think if you can ask those three, four questions, you'll get to a point where actually this is where, this is the beginning point for your business on your AI journey. 
Some projects are easier to run than others, and as you grow and as you grow, you'll get better and better at doing it. Question number four, following on from the points I made in the last one, we get is, how long will it take me to see an ROI? So again, it's a, I think it's a really good thing that any data project or any AI-driven work should always scope out an ROI on it right at the start. Um, early on, we uh, in the creation of Peak, part of the reason we started was seeing big data projects failing left, right and centre, many of them not delivering any benefit to the business and certainly not delivering the, uh, the ROI they were supposed to at the start. But now as the process has evolved, uh, the sectors have moved on, you should absolutely start up any project with what's the ROI we're going to deliver from it. And that's exactly what we do. Now, how long will that take? You know, it does depend somewhat on what's the question you're asking, what's the complexity of it. But whereas you see a lot of businesses, we've seen recently saying it's going to take us two years, three years, four years to build a, build a data center before we can do anything on, uh, actually action that data in any way, shape or form. I think that's a very, very old way of thinking. That's very much a tech-driven, tech project way of thinking. If you treat this as a business solution to business problems, our customers are getting results. They're getting an ROI in weeks, no more than three to four to five months, where you'll actually see the impact of data-driven decision-making hitting that business. And if you have a clearly defined ROI from the start, and your laser focus is on that, there's no way you should be talking years before you see an ROI. It literally should be a matter of weeks and months. Question number five, final one, where's the robots? Uh, again, touched on this in the last blog that we, that we, we discussed, that, that AI isn't about robots, the robots are not going to be coming in to take your job and take your desk away uh, anytime soon. The AI that we're seeing now that has an impact on those businesses I mentioned earlier on, say in the retail sector, that are growing fast, is machine learning algorithms that sit behind sit behind your systems, they make your own systems that you've got in place, your CRM, your finance system, your ordering system, talk to each other and makes them smart. So what we're doing and what we're finding now isn't radically changing the people's jobs, it's not taking away jobs, it's making those jobs better and creating efficiencies where there's inefficiencies and so forth. So um, the robots aren't coming anytime soon, don't worry about that, but the change in the, in the industry is happening. Jobs are being made better by AI that's impacting businesses now. So thanks a lot for listening and look forward to speaking again soon. Any questions or any ideas for any future vlogs, pop us a line, happy to help.